everybody welcome back to our channel it's Sharice and I have my handy little helper Ava Ava so today we will be making delicata squash I'm going to do it two ways the first way that I'm going to make it is um, by basically cutting it in half and putting some maple butter and cinnamon in it then I'm going to do an alternate. I'm going to roast that and then I'm going to do the alternate of putting it in the air fryer. I'm going to slice it into little spots, a little slices and see how it turns out. So let me show you what the delicata squash looks like. This is what it looks like. It looks like a pumpkin a little bit. Well, it actually is a squash and so are pumpkins. And this now, also looks like a worm. I don't know what that, that's what she's talking about. Now, if you have not had this before, I ordered one a year or so ago and when it came through my ordering um, service this is what I received literally this was the size of delicata, squ delicata squash that I got so as you can see in comparison I was not able to really get a good feel on what it tasted like so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this recipe go ahead like and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you can see new videos when we upload them. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and rinse this off. Yeah. And then you're going to cut this in half lengthwise. Well, that's not going very gracefully now, is it? And then we're going to uh -huh, scoop yet. the stuff out of it. Right, Mom? We are going to scoop the stuff out as soon as I can get this baby open. <laughs> It's not a baby, it's a grown-up. Here's the moment of truth. Alright. Ooh, wee, that so was... you're going to go ahead and scoop the seeds out for me? Well, we are done so, scooping out the seeds and I have this maple I have this maple butter that I got from Trader Joe's. It is awesome. So we're going to use that to put into the cavity of the um, stuff here. Each recipe that I have found so far is saying to use like sweeteners, brown sugar, butter, so we're going to use this maple butter and then put that on the inside and then top it off with some cinnamon and we're going to roast this one just the way it is. We're going to do 400 for about 15 minutes. Okay, that's enough maple butter. Spread that no along. Way, no, no way. that's enough. You're going to spread that out real good. You don't need any more. Get it all on top too. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a sprinkle. Okay, watch out for a minute. Okay, we're going to sprinkle. Don't pour it, Ava. Just sprinkle it in just a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that on our pan and get that baking in the oven. And now we're going to slice it. Yep, so the next recipe we're going to try, you're just going to slice these into these little small slices. We're going to put a little oil on them and then we're going to season them with a little bit of salt yep. and pepper and maybe another, maybe garlic type Wait, mommy. seasoning. Wait, mommy. And now we're going to spray it. So we're going to put these in the oven, air fryer for 400 for 15 minutes as well. All right, so I did cook these in my air fryer for 15 minutes. They did come out brown. I did taste one and it actually tastes really good with the seasonings. And this one that has the maple butter 
just took that out. I took that one out in 15 minutes and it was not done. So I put it back in for another 15. So total cooking time of 30 minutes and it is actually done now. What I'm gonna do is let these cool down for a few minutes and then we'll get a little taste of both and let you all know what we think. We are go okay, I'm gonna go ahead and slice this one into some smaller pieces and we're going to give these a taste. So as you can see, it has sliced up really well. It's cutting easily. Now, um, you can eat the skin if that's what you desire, but you don't have to. So I'm gonna give Ava a sample of both pieces and let her tell oh, us no. what she thinks. Oh no, I'm so nervous. So we're gonna have Ava taste these. We're gonna try the sweet one first. We're gonna take a little bite of that one. This is the one with the maple syrup, maple sugar. Wait a minute, maple butter and cinnamon. Here you go. Go ahead and taste a little piece of that. Keep in mind, this one doesn't like much of anything. What do you think? Does it taste good? You don't like it? What? Girl, it tastes good to me. Okay, now let's try the piece that has uh, salt on it. Maybe she'll like this one better. You don't have to eat the skin, you just eat the inside of it. What do you think? You like that one? Oh, you do? All right. Well, if you like it, let me see you give a thumbs up. In the camera. Okay, so I actually tasted both and actually I like both of them. Um, the one with the maple butter actually kind of tastes like um, if you were to add, she's all up in my way. Ava, you're blocking me, honey. It uh, kind of tastes like not a sweet potato because it does not have the flavor of a sweet potato. But if you can just imagine what squash tastes like with sweetness, sweetener on it, that's what it tastes like. Um, very good options. I'm glad that I took the risk of buying the delicata squash. So you can easily season it with the sweetener as well as seasoning it with salt, pepper, garlic, and whatever else you want to season it with. I'm Jackie. Bless you. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in and have a wonderful day. And make sure you actually give us a big thumbs up and like and subscribe and hit that and I'll catch you below if you want to see more video. All right, and guys, she's eating her second piece, so I may have to keep buying this squash. All right, have a great night. Or have a great day. <laughs>